Parliament, which is different from actually not having a vote recorded, and that included some ministers, some Labour ministers. But obviously there's been a lot of disquiet um, from various uh, traditional supporters of the Labour Party, and the question is how much political damage has been done, or is this the start of a very tough autumn with a budget to come, of course, at the end of October? We'll be bringing you more on this in the coming hours, and uh, Matthew is going to be picking up at the top of this hour. I'm Geetha Goramuthi. This is BBC News. Live from London, this is BBC News. The UK government wins the vote on a controversial plan to cut winter fuel payments for millions of pensioners. And I'm live in Westminster where the government is sticking to its plan despite concerns on all sides that more pensioners could end up in poverty. American voters gear up to watch the two main presidential candidates debate head to head on live TV. Well, I used to be a Democrat, not no more. I switched to Republican, but I don't really go by that. I go by what's, who says what's better. The UN condemns an Israeli airstrike on a humanitarian zone in Gaza, where at least 19 Palestinians have been killed. Three, two, one, position. And SpaceX launches the Polaris Dawn rocket from Florida for the first privately funded spacewalk by non-astronauts. Hello and welcome to today's Verified Live. Let's start with breaking news here in the UK. Opposition MPs in Parliament have failed to block government plans to cut winter fuel payments for millions of pensioners. A total of 348 MPs backed the government, with 228 supporting the opposition motion. It means the government won the vote with a majority of 120. As a result, an estimated 10 million pensioners won't get the payments to help with their winter heating. Let's go straight back to Westminster and straight back to our deputy political editor, Vicky Young, who's there watching all these proceedings. And Vicky, in terms of the reaction you've had so far, 